All right, uh, what I've got here with the pseudo solid over unity test, proof of over unity test is here I have two one inch square 1018 bars with four <clears throat> half inch NIB magnets, neo Diddy iron boron magnets there. Let you get a look. And four here. Okay, these are arranged in repulsion, excuse me, attraction. And what I'm going to show you here is how strong. Okay, <laughs> you can see that is tremendously strong. That's eight NIBs being pulled to each other. Uh, if you've ever worked with uh, NIB magnets, you know that, that that's tremendous force right there. Eight of them pulling each other through. Uh, 1018 steel. Now I'm going to show you how to get these bars off with virtually no work. Now when I push these magnets it's going to take some force but that's because they're squeezing down on here. If these bars are fixed apart and there's a five thousandths, air, uh, five thousandths inch air gap on each end of the magnet, you'll see in my video on YouTube that those magnets can be just you can just take your little finger and just brush them along and they'll just slide right along. So, but I wanted to get this video on right now and I'll do a, another video later with the bars fixed. But my video that's on YouTube now shows that those magnets will just move with the slightest touch. You can almost push them back and forth with a feather. Okay, now turn it this way. And simply push those magnets down there and look these lift right off. Okay you probably think well now that you've got those magnets in there um, how are you going to uh, get them out? You think well just put this back on top and push the magnets up but if you do that the bars are stuck again. I'm going to show you how to do it using one-eighth the force or rather the force and the work that uh, the two <clears throat> assemblies utilized or put out in being attra attracted to each other. What you do is you put these bars on the, on the edge <clears throat> And what you do is you only <clears throat> overlap them enough for a magnet, one magnet. And you come in and you move one magnet at a time up like that and slide it back. And once again, this is very easy to do when you have that 5,000 air gap. Then you take the next magnet move it up slide this one over and when I make the new video with these air gaps and you want to believe how easy it is to move these but you'll see that in the video Okay, got two more to go. And the fourth, third magnet is moved up. Now notice that only one magnet at a time <clears throat> has been moved through this gap. And this gap, this overlap, is saturated with the flux of one magnet. And you can see right there how easy it is, even with it with pressure on. You can imagine with an air gap how easy. Okay, just move this one up. Okay, the four are back in there. Look how easy it comes off. 
Now I'm going to put the four. Now, you couldn't pull those apart. It would take eight, seven times the work to pull all eight of them apart. But, and I, but when you overlap it down here, move one magnet at a time, <clears throat> you're able to move it with, uh, the overlap only has the force of one magnet going through here because this is saturated with the, with the flux of one magnet, so you, you can't have the flux of two or more going through there. Now what's fascinating about this is if you imagine these bars long enough so that you had a hundred one inch NIB magnets in this one and a hundred in this one and the unimaginable force of 200 one inch NIBs pulling those steel bars together probably 15 feet long or 20 who knows and the force it would take to pull them apart would be if you just simply pushed all those magnets down into the bottom row then brought brought the bars over so that it only overlapped an inch for one magnet brought one magnet in at a time till all 100 was in this top row then you could separate the two bars only uh, requiring the work that it would take to remove one magnet but you would have had done the work of 200 magnets in pulling together and my video will show you uh, I'll post on overunity.com uh, the link to the video that shows uh, how easy these can be moved just with a feather touch and uh, as you can see how easy I took them off to begin with now you, you've got eight pulling there together Def definitely can, these bars can be moved with less work than the work output when they're pulled together that is about as graphic over unity as I, I can demonstrate at this point. I'm going to clean these bars up and uh, smooth out these magnets and, and fix the distance so I can get a air gap between them and it'll go a lot smoother but I wanted to get this on the web as soon as possible. Alright, uh, that should do it. Thanks a lot.